All right, so this will be a rather lengthy video because what we need to do now is install the Active Directory role onto each of our servers and um, configure it. So what we do is we'll select the first server and then we're going to create a remote desktop connection by choosing connect in the lower left hand side. I'm not going to want to connect to my Microsoft account. I'm going to want to connect to the server. So this is that username and password that we gave it when we went ahead and configured our virtual machine. From here, it's going to open up a remote desktop connection. I'm going to go ahead and resize that for you. And I'm going to go ahead and choose smart sizing so that it'll size to the screen. Once it comes up, we'll go ahead and choose server manager. It's going to open the server manager. Now remember, we have that blank disk and we're going to want to put all of our Active Directory files onto that disk. So what I'll go ahead and do is go down to the windows and right click, bring up disk management. Once disk management comes up, we'll go ahead and instantiate and configure that disk to NTFS so that it's ready for Active Directory. All right, so as you can see, it found a logical disk, disk two. I'm gonna give it a master boot record and say, okay. I'm gonna come down to the disk. There's disk two right there. Whoops. I'm gonna right click on it, choose new simple volume, and walk through the new simple volume wizard. I'll give it the maximum size. F is fine. NTFS is what we want here. I'm going to change the volume. I'm going to go ahead and change the volume. There we go. To ADSYS, Active Directory System, will perform a quick format. And we're ready to go. There's our disk. It's formatting. We'll need to wait for it to finish just to make sure we're ready to install the Active Directory role. It's done. I'll close that. Come back here. Two ways to add roles, one right here and one up in the management. So if we choose Manage, Add Roles and Features, it'll open up our roles and features. We'll say Next. We're going to want to do a role-based or feature-based installation. Next. And I'm going to use the GUI to do this over PowerShell this time. So select a server from the server pool. There's the server. And the roles. I'm going to want Active Directory Domain Services and all of its supporting roles. So I'll add those features. I'll go ahead and choose Next. It's going to want to install the .NET Framework. That's fine. I'll choose Next. ADDS, I'll choose Next. Confirm that this is what I want to install. If it needs to restart, I can have it do so. And choose Install. Now, this only takes a couple minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while the role installs. So as you can see, the installation is progressing nicely. This process will um, be affected by how much memory and disk size, etc., speed that you attach. Remember, I attached a zero, so I have a really small server here to not use much of my credit on my Azure account. All right, so once that's done, we can come in and just close our window here. We'll see an exclamation in the up here and configuration required. So we're going to go ahead and promote this server to a domain controller. So we'll click there, and as you know, we just need to promote this server to a domain controller. So we'll do that. That's going to open up the Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard, and we'll walk through this process. So since this is my first domain controller, it will be in a brand new forest. And what I'm going to do is create a subdomain off of my domain master it in minutes or master it in minutes.com. So what this is going to allow me to do is better manage masteritinminutes.com via the web, creating websites, etc. 
and then having my root domain for my Active Directory forest and my Active Dir and my primary my parent domain to be corporate. So we'll go ahead and choose next. And we can see that I can have my forest functional level and my domain functional level both be Windows Server 2012 R2 because I don't have any older servers that I plan on managing or making part of Active Directory. So I will need DNS, I will need Global Catalog Server, and of course, since this is the first server, it cannot be a read-only domain controller. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and give it a password and confirm the password for the directory services restore mode. I always try to make this password unique, not using the admin password or another password. It is one that you definitely want to make sure you write down someplace and keep it safe. So we'll choose next. And then at this point, it says the delegation for the DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found? Well, of course, this is going to be my first DNS. So we'll say next. It's going to ask me to give it a net BIOS name. I'm going to go with corp. And then I'll choose next. And then here is where we have set up that other drive. And I'm going to go ahead and point the database, the log files, the sysfall folder to that other drive. So I've changed all those, and I'll choose Next. I'll review all the options to make sure that they're correct. Net BIOS name, forest functional level, global catalog, yes, DNS, yes. Database, over to F, log files, etc. Choose next. It's going to do a prerequisite checklist. Now, normally you are going to get some warnings here in regards to DNS, etc. It's checking to make sure that all of the settings I've given it will apply accordingly. So I'll pause while it does that. So it's done, and as you can see, I've got some warnings that I can go through. In, in regards to the default domain controllers, delegation of DNS. But if you notice, the prerequisites check is completed. So now I can say install. And it's funny they call it install. It's really going to go out and configure the Active Directory domain services that we already installed. So we'll pause while it does that. So as you can see, it finished. It's going to go ahead and sign me out and restart the machine so that Active Directory will be complete. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, I will make a subpart video to show you how to uh, configure the second server into what is now our corporate.masterITinMinutes domain.